My question of the day is to law enforcement, local law enforcement specifically, and the militia all across the United States. Okay, let's just say, for instance, there's an economic collapse or a big disaster. Great big disaster. Uh, our monetary system goes to crap and all like that. Okay, over here, over there, we have militia members on this side over here. I see seated all you law enforcement people. I have a question for all you law enforcement people over here in this corner. If, you're, if you stop getting a paycheck, if you're not getting any money to support your family, how many of you will continue to report to work? Well, about two-thirds of you is not going to report to work. Okay. I'm, I'm proud of that third of you that will still go to work and try to protect the public uh, without even getting a paycheck. Now let's go over here to the militia. Okay, all you militia members, uh, if the monetary system goes to crap and everything and you stop getting paid, uh, how many of you will continue to defend your neighborhood and your local community? 100%? Oh, wait a minute. You guys don't get paid anyway. Hmm. To that one-third of the law enforcement community, uh, wouldn't it be advantageous uh, to make friends with the militia? To utilize the militia? Hmm. So, what we have here is the militia and law enforcement. In a time of disaster, one, two-thirds of the law enforcement won't be there. However, all of the militia will still be there. To all you local sheriffs and everything, when your deputies don't show up because you can't pay them, or it has to be done in barter, and you know most of your deputies be gone in a in a situation like that, wouldn't it be best to have these guys be able to call on them when? Let me go down here and go to it. Uh, these guys here come out. Let me find up. There they are. What I have here is just a couple of rival gangs. And these gangs are in Nashville. They're in all the major cities. It, probably in every state of the country. We got the 18th Street Gang and MS-13. Uh, as of this date, uh, I don't know what the date is on this, but 18th Street Gang is showing a record of 19... 141 killings and MS-13 1,609. In a time of a disaster, these well-armed gangs are going to go looking for resources. They're going to come out to the smaller communities because uh, let's see here because this guy here uh, is he, he failed to exist. He's not getting paid anymore. He's not showing up to work. Uh, they're cut down to a third of what their former manpower was. So these guys over here are going to have to take up the slack. Now all you militia guys out there, I bet you never thought about this, have you? Everybody's preparing for the federal government to come and get us. You know, they're going to come take our guns away. You law enforcement guys, hey, don't you think it'd be you catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar? These guys here will become your best friends in a, in a disaster situation. I think these guys ought to make friends with these guys, local law enforcement, and I'm not talking about the feds, and these guys need to come out and join up with the militia because these guys are going to help protect these guys family your family will be part of this family
I'm just a crazy hick. I don't know. You know, I'm just stupid fat hick that some people say I can't even change clothes. They don't understand I have several pairs of overalls, but you know, I'm just stupid that way. But, you know, hey, what do y'all think?